marching band decided that they could be stronger together. Um, I thought that was just an amazing decision, and they have been doing wonderfully for the past six years. Um, winning competitions, bringing kids back together again, keeping those bonds um, uh, strong, and just being stronger together, which I thought was a really tremendous um, a really tremendous thing for our marching band to do. And so uh, when Joey Lepker uh, got the job at Turpin High School and he became their theater teacher, um, I had approached him and said, you know, this has been something that I've been thinking about doing and wanting to do, so once you feel ready, um, let's open up those conversations about a combined production. My goal is to continue to push Turpin's program forward and Forest Hills forward. Uh, and something that I felt, especially when I was in high school, was a weird competition and rivalry in theater, which is art. Uh, and I don't think art should be a competition, right? The first year of the collaboration went wonderfully. They had a wonderful time. They loved working with their friends uh, that they had made at Nagel. They loved working with their friends that they had made at Film Camp. Um, and they loved the opportunity to be able to do what they really wanted to do. The kids in the musical from Turpin were so overjoyed. I thought the first year went really well. Um, I think Gats, I mean, for anyone that saw the shows, I think you could see that the product was great. I mean, Gatsby was incredible, Headcase was super awesome, and um, the Drowsy Chaperone, which is the project I worked on, was incredible. My mother was involved in those productions, and her best friend, Amy, um, was involved in those productions. My mom went to Turpin, Amy went to Anderson, and they are lifelong best friends. Um, they still talk every day. They still are very involved. I mean, Amy is like an aunt to me. She's Aunt Amy. so. Those are the kind of relationships that I have seen in my life. I have met countless number of folks who were involved in the Anderson Turpin musical. Um, you know, from colleagues that went to, that that I work with now to parents whose kids go through the program, um, and all they all they told me, every single thing that they told me, is that they loved it. They loved being able to work with their friends that they didn't get to see on a daily basis. They loved being able to collaborate. I think improvement is gonna continue to come as we run into different hurdles, right? So um, just continuing to encourage students to go outside of their comfort zone. And as students become more comfortable and open and it becomes more normal, right, if we continue to do this, I think it will just improve with buy-in. And something that I think is, is really cool is that you work with these people at Nagel, and then previously you never got to work with them again. But now people are coming in and, and just continuing to work with the people they already worked with. So I think as it becomes more normal and people become more comfortable and, and um, just open to the idea of working on projects they might not have uh, had an opportunity to before, it's just going to improve and just become a part of who we are. You know, I'm a big believer in taking things one step at a time. Um, I'm also a big believer in reflection. And so um, every single year when we're finished with the projects, um, we like to get together and talk about what went well, what didn't go well, and how can we improve them. Um, but I think, just like Joey said, I think that the most important thing is that we continue the process as long as it's a positive one, and that we continue to listen to the students in the community, and we continue to take into consideration um, that we can't please every single student, but that we can listen to a majority of them and really take into consideration what is going to make this the best environment for learning, for collaboration, and for creating art so that we can continue uh, excellence here in Forest Hills um, across the board.